All right, so I'm going to show you how to cut flagstone. This is flagstone. This is uh, about inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters inch thick of Pennsylvania blue stone. And what I'm going to show you right now is called napping, where you're just cutting a little bit off. If I were to go ahead and hit it right here, it might not work right. I might, in this particular cut, yeah, I might be able to do it with a broad chisel. But I'm going to show you napping. And. Now I'm going to back up already and show you what I just did. I'm coming in at an angle like this. So I can create this bit of an overhang. Now the overhang, I can trim these here. Once the overhang is gone, I'm going to try and create an overhang again. And just keep nibbling a little bit of it at a time. See, now I've got an underhang, a little belly sticking out at the bottom. Belly is easy, makes it easier for me to create an underhang again. There you go. How to do napping. Um, there's other types of cuts, you know, with the angle grinder, with the saw. There's tricks you do sometimes where you saw underneath it, flip it back over and chisel from the top to break it so you don't see the saw cut. There's some guys who just saw cut the entire flagstone and leave the entire patio with nothing but visible, obvious, straight, perfect saw cuts. Um, which, you know, is an aesthetic preference and how you prefer to work, you know? Um, I prefer to have a natural looking edge. So I'm doing this, and I prefer to not hear the grind and the dust of the saw, you know? So I prefer to do napping if I can. Um, with some cuts, it's just gonna get too tricky to nap and we're gonna wanna get things done. We're gonna wanna make some money. We're gonna wanna make some progress. So we will cut from the top with a saw in which case I'm just roughing up the edge. But we'll get into that in a later video. Thank you. All right, so my uh, filmographer just asked me a good question. I noticed that when I was creating the underhang, the overhang, I was using the square edge and then I used the chisel, the blade edge, you know, the chisel edge when I came at it from the top. I hardly even think about that. I've been cutting using these hammers for so long <laughs> that I'm flipping regularly and I can kind of use the two edges interchangeably. Um, there's got to be a rhyme and reason to it though, right? <laughs> um, see right there, I didn't even bother creating an overhang. And now I've got an underhang. For the underhang, I'm not going to attack that with the chisel. I'm going to attack it with the square edge. Really, I could probably even finish the entire line just using the square edge. But when it comes to control, I guess I'm usually using the blade. And when it comes to taking out a bigger chunk, I guess I'm usually using the square. You know, the primary thing to realize if you're just beginning is just to take your time. And the main thing is just, you know, you're only taking a little bit at a time. You're not, I'm not trying to hit it here. I'm just coming here. And just biting. So that's the main thing I would say is, again, I'm creating an underhang and I just noticed I switched. For me, it's unconscious. For you, I would just say, you know, just realize you're just trying to take a bit at a time. It's called napping. It's the same term they use for flint napping, you know, when you're making a, um, like an arrowhead. So you're taking one rock, you know, and just napping off a little bit, napping or nipping, you know. We're chipping, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the main thing is just realizing you know, you're only trying to take a little bit. Some stones cooperate more, others less. <laughs> um, but you know, slate, pretty damn difficult. You know, slate, granite, sandstone, all types of stone that I'm working with. I'm using similar nap napping techniques. And just when I encounter a new type of stone, there might be a learning curve where I'm, you know, I'm spending a few minutes learning how much force 
this stone particularly needs, you know. That's it. Cut.